hello guys and welcome to a new brand video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to enable forking on github so the first thing to do is to open your web browser either if it was google chrome mozilla firefox microsoft edge or any web browser that you are using after that you will need to go to github.com and now we will need to create an account so we can be able to use the github services so basically all we need to do is to click on sign up and then it will redirect us to the sign up page and now you need to add your email uh, then gmail.com or any other email that you are using you click on continue you create a password so if it, either if it was anything like that you click on continue and then you will add a username for example whatever the username was now you will need uh, just to type yes or no if you want uh, to have the emails uh, and announcements so click on no if you don't want to and then you will need just to solve uh, as a verification you solve this puzzle so we start this puzzle and the tickle object we do like this and then you will do like that and then you will create an account so basically after you create an account all you need to do is uh, to verify your email by having uh, copying the, co uh, the code that will be sent to your email and then you will just paste it here and you will be able to create a new account on github after that it will sign in you and you will have access to use the github repository and basically now all you need to do is to follow these simple steps so now all you need to do is to go to any repository that you want to fork and then uh, just search for it so i'm going to choose this uh, repository for example and all i need to do is to go to fork in here and i'm going to click on fork and now i will have my this repository that will be forked with my repository so basically if i go to my profile go to repositories here i will find that i have two uh, repositories so basically let's go back uh, to the login page we go here and basically we need to fork you don't have for, so let's just here and now we are going to create fork and now we have just enabled the fork successfully so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time